finally, there are uh, financial statements now. Um, as you know, in LN, I mean, uh, excuse me, in Bond 5, they made the um, brilliant decision to get rid of financial statements. So, um, and, and what were you, you guys use business objects, right? Sorry, say again, what did we use? Um, you, for your report writer, like say you're doing your financial statements, you do them out of business objects, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we have a couple of different solutions. I mean, we of course have uh, customized, respectively self-developed uh, reporting sessions. Yeah. We have uh, okay. we have a, a kind of a customized uh, financial uh, statements tool as well, but I'm not sure uh, if this is still in use. Then we have, as you said, uh, business objects, and uh, we of course also have um, FTSS in place, Outlook Soft. So we have we have okay. a couple of different solutions in place today. Okay. Okay. So um, this would be a, a complement to that. Uh, so you can get financial statements by company. You know, you set up your balance sheet and income statement and cash flow and all of that stuff. You can set it up in here. Um, so I don't have any set up here, but I can do that later. Set up your financial statements here. Um, okay. Um, and then you would define financial statement accounts. Sorry about the dogs. Can you hear the dogs? <laughs> yes, we can. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> Next as time maybe I'll go long, into the long, office. <laughs> no, as long as they are not louder than you, it's no problem. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Uh, okay. So financial statements here. Um, and let's see. So let's click on this. All right, so this is what I've been talking about when I say it, it, it can go directly out to Excel. So what you would do is you would define your financial statements. Uh, so you would set up your accounts, um, and then you would set up, you know, accounts and dimension combination that would get you your financial statements. And then what you would do is you can export financial values. So what that means is you can export the trial balance, just the straight trial balance, and as I said, you can use the different currencies if you like. Let's see if I can do this here. Uh, I'm going out on a limb here. I haven't done this one for this one. Yeah. Is oh, it is please. it possible? Is it possible in LN to select uh, as period type also tax besides fiscal and reporting? Because this yes. was one big yes. gap in Bound Five that. Uh, Period type tax was not really enabled uh, in a lot of sessions, especially print sessions. Right. Uh, I'd have to go look at some of the reports to mm. tell you for sure. But I will tell you that um, when you export your financial values, uh, like you print using that flexible reporting session, all the tax information is there. Tax amount, tax right. codes, everything. So you can certainly get that information out into Excel directly. Uh, okay, so let's see. I want to see. I did the export there. Let's see what I got. Um, so I'm going to go here. And you can actually see financial values. Okay, that's pretty slick. So let's see what we got. So this is actually the trial balance. This is a trial balance right here. You've got the financial company, and you can do this across multiple companies, right? Um, here's the year. Here's the period. Uh, ledger counts, all the dimensions, not just one. Uh, you've got the currency there. You get debit, credit amounts for different for the different accounts, and it also breaks it up finalized and not finalized, if you like. Um, and then, of course, I can take this right to Excel. This is this is amazing stuff. <laughs> it really is. I mean, you got the company number there. Of course, this is all the header information. Year. You can also do budgets in here. So I could have actual code, and I can have budgets. So you put your budgets in there. You can ex import them from Excel. Put your budgets in there, and then you have a comparison right here. Okay, that's all your information. So that that's your trial balance. But you also have 
if, you, if we look back here in the financial statements again, you also have process financial statement values, and then you have financial statement values. Okay, so the difference is the, the other one is just the, the trial balance without any statements so that you can think of it as sort of the backup. We're just sort of printing a trial balance without having a bunch of customized trial balance reports. You just put them right out to Excel. So that's just the straight trial balance. What this is is that you define the financial statement and you have the account, the statement account. So, for example, you might say, here's a balance sheet. Okay, and here are all the, here's the AR, but you want AR trade and AR intercompany, but you might have multiple ledger accounts and dimensions that go into that, right? So what you would do is you would define the balance sheet. So right up here you would see, if I exported this financial statement, you would see right here you would see balance sheet, and then you would see a statement account. So in the example I just gave, you would see AR trade, and then you see AR intercompany, but it would be summed up. It would be summarized, okay? So down here, you would see a list of all the ledger accounts and dimensions that make up that balance sheet statement account line. So, I mean, this is beautiful because you, you've essentially got your, not only do you have all your financial statement information, and you, by the way, you have the account code and you have the description of that code. So you would have, actually you would have a file that would say AR trade and then you have a bunch of lines for the different ledger accounts and dimensions combinations that make that up. Uh, and then you would have the, the statement account number and you would have the statement account name. So that then, once again, you can, you have all of the, the data that you need uh, to support, and you can tie it out in Excel. So essentially what you can do is you can just hand this straight to an auditor or, you know, produce it for whoever straight out of Excel. Um, there's also Excel templates that you can set up so that that information dumps in and it looks beautiful in Excel. Um, I don't know. This is just wonderful functionality, and they, um, you know, thank goodness they put it back in in LN.